I'll be joining thousands of people up and down the country who will be sleeping on the streets to raise money and more important to raise awareness of the plight of the young homeless in Britain today. The Centrepoint Sleepout is an annual event where celebrity faces join members of the public in experiencing a cold night sleeping on the streets of London. You and I are both sleeping out tonight. Yeah. Tough, but no way does it replicate the real thing, does it? What you do get, and this is what I've experienced in the last four years of doing the sleepout, is a sense, just a sense, of what it's like to be sleeping on a hard surface with the roar of a city at night in your ears. You can't sleep. Centrepoint helps the young homeless, but how does it work? That work is not only about the roof over their head, it's also about roots, it's about resources, it's about equipping them so when they leave us they can stand on their own. DJ Sarah Cox is Centrepoint's longest standing ambassador. There's so many young people who, through no fault of their own, whether it's a change in family circumstance or if there's a background of drug or alcohol abuse, they find themselves homeless, so I can't imagine what it must be like. It must be frightening. As everyone beds down for the night, 21-year-old Comfort tells me about her experience of being homeless. I was homeless for four months, like around Christmas time last year. And where did you sleep? Well, for four months I stayed at my friend's house. And, but my friend's mum, she wrote a letter to my council. They put me through with Centrepoint and um, Centrepoint gave me somewhere to stay. You meet quite a lot of kids on the X Factor that have been homeless, that have uh, ended up in hostels, that have, um, you know, they just fall out with a parent. Or, or quite often, like a stepfather comes in, mm -hmm. they have no relationship and they end up leaving. And they've got nothing. So somewhere, some young person is trying to bed down in a doorway or under a ledge. Nothing I'm going to endure tonight can match that. I'm trying to sleep, but it's not easy. It's a strange feeling. It's a kind of apprehension. And I know that it's only for the next few hours. Even though my sleep out wasn't exactly on the streets, it was still hard to cope. And eventually, in the early hours, I had to take some time out and rest in the film crew car. All over Britain, there are people who do know that despair, whether they're riding the night buses or sofa surfing or just looking for a doorway or an alleyway out of the wind. It shouldn't be like that, and we have to make things change.